Hey there guys, welcome back to Iceman Universe, and for today's reaction video, we're going to be checking out Season 6 of Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Now, surprisingly though, like, this is the only episode of this season, as I have stated before in my last video, before reacting to the Season 5 finale, but... If you have Max and are watching Ed, Ed, and Eddie on there, this episode that we're about to watch is listed as the Season 5 finale, but it's not. You know, Episode 12 is. So, yeah. And if you didn't watch my reaction to Episode 12 of Season 5, I thought it was an overall great episode and that, you know, it was able to end probably the worst season ever of Ed, Ed, and Eddie on a high note. But yeah, like I said, we got this episode to watch, we got the four specials, and then the movie. So yeah, I'm safe to say that we're officially on the home stretch for finishing the series out. And you know, I've already picked what I'm gonna be watching, but I'll but I'll probably do a post about it on 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 my YouTube community tab, so you'll be able to figure out by then. But yeah, other than that, I'm ready to get this show on the road here. If you guys are enjoying my reaction series to Ed and Nettie and you want to support my YouTube channel for it, then please do so by hitting the like and subscribe buttons and ringing the bell to get notified for upcoming content on the channel. And if you want to watch my full length reaction series to Ed and Nettie on my Patreon page, as well as get a shout out at the start of every video I do, then please do so by clicking the link down in the description below and become a member today. Now with that being said, let's get this reaction started. This is the lone episode of Ed and Nettie Season 6. May I have this Ed? Ooh, is there a school dance going on? What's going on? Oh, Ed stole Eddie's donut. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. What the hell? <laughs> oh, my gosh, Ed. Oh boy. You two no respect for the sanctum of school property? Apparently not, Double D. What the? Um, I withdraw my last statement. No harm done yet. <laughs> right oh, let's say we make our way to school dance. Oh yeah. How do we miss this? Why, if only we had known sooner. Well, they're outcasts, so stay home on a school dance night. Right in. Sure right, Daddy. Oh, Double D stuck out! Oh, not completely. Check this out. Huh? Win a date uh, with Eddie? Oh, brother. He is. <laughs> Do you realize that it's customary for a boy to ask a girl? I'd rather date a frog, Baldy! Oh, gosh. Oh boy. Miss too many laundry days for that, Eddie. Uh, uh, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Will you see this? What is that? Dates, dates, and you? Oh man. It's got everything a guy needs to know about charming the tomato. Um, uh, Ted dated, uh, don't you think, Eddie? Step number one. In the hands off my brother's book, Ed. Oh, yep, I was gonna ask if it, that was his brother's. Documentary on slip airing on television tonight. <laughs> He's... We're rendezvousing. Got it? My mom's got a sewing mannequin we can practice on. Hands off oh. my brother's book. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, Lumpy. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> they chained him up. <laughs> nope. Double D's really that shy, huh? <laughs> well, Double D, come on, man. Oh man. I'm Charmin Marvin, and this is my little friend, Sheldon. Wait, 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 wait. Ed, you idiot! Wait, how did he get Sheldon back? I thought it was... Last we saw it, it was left sinking at the bottom of the creek and killed a ton of fish, so... I don't... I don't even want to know. You know, cologne, cash, me... 
You? What? Movies? Have you partaken in watching Attack on the Betty for TV Train? Uh. Was when the angry TV train spewed forth and rampaged the city. I am a giant TV train! The school dance is destined to be yet another dejected, dead women in our adolescent lives! Get over it! This book's gonna make us the sultans of swagger! Oh, I doubt it. And everybody hates you three, so... Yeah. Oh, here we go, dance time. Oh, Ed, that's your attire. Us Eds ain't chasing any chicks, got it? There's still time to reconsider before we venture forth into the traumatic abominating. Oh my gosh. Wolf? What the hell? Oh. It's like picking apples out of a tree. Go on. Cut a rug. Oh, there's Nass. <laughs> They're like, what are we gonna do? Yeah, I better go wash off some of this app Oh, he's gonna try to bail. Oh no. She's gonna kill him. No! Oh man. Well, Kevin sure does look nice. I'll give him that. That's not what she asked. Backbone bruised, courage crashed. Rolf, you're making this worse. Kevin, what would you happen to know a back way out of this? May I? What the? What the? Eddie's in the punch. I almost drank Dorkin. I'm gonna heave. Smooth move, sockhead. Where in the book does it say to pull your buddy's cover? Only after the chapter about abandoning your friend in his time of need. Uh, shut it and help me out of this thing. Uh, they ran out of punch. Show off. Oh no. Way to bust the move, Double D. Let's twist. Oh! Hey, he didn't even want to be here. <laughs> like this, Double D. Oh, <laughs> He's. Oh my gosh, Double D. Well, I bet the dumb kinkers are jealous of, of him. You get burnt, shovelhead. Hey, screw you. You deserve to be called a shovelhead. You gonna let that hussy steal your man? Oh. 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 Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. And we gone. Who can figure him? No school tomorrow. <laughs> Seems I did learn something from your book, Eddie. I did get to dance with Ness. You're an idiot, Ed. That was good. Look before you add. Another snow day. Uh oh. <laughs> they got him. Got that right. Winter looks good on him. <laughs> Winter scares me. Oh wow. Winter time's fun. Look, Jimmy, I'm making a snow angel. I have to agree with Sarah. Winter can be fun. Oh come now, Eddie. Why look around you? It's so pure, so yep. inspiring. Guys, look. Whoa! I am a punchy man! Bow before my breath on charcoal tomb! A 
formidable foe at um, but your smoke is nothing more than Fonchi Man Double D. Oh man, and it's still stinky. Very well then, prepare to meet your match, Hibachi Man. <laughs> you will never charm royal by venisons of this dimension. Be gone, celery stock of justice. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Sarah, how many have you done in a, in a minute? Oh my gosh, Jimmy, are you really that weak? Oh. What, what the? Oh, man. Oh. He's frozen solid. That'll make my thighs burn, Double D. If only someone could address the true reality of wintertime hazards. We would all be much more... Not that again. Nobody wanted to hear about it last year or the one before that. And no one wants to hear about your stupid safety club idea this year. Safety club? Safety club? No more winter alleys? Tell me more, Double D. Okay. <laughs> Check it out, Double D! Nothing says wintertime fun like scoring a couple lunch trays sled down a hill, huh? Lunch trays are the transportation of tomorrow. Come They're on. not supposed to do that, are they? What are we waiting for? I'll take that, thank you. <laughs> lunch trays are not intended for recreational use. Very well proved, hazardous. Thank yeah, you. that is true. I have a much more rewarding activity that two of you will find absolutely invigorating. And what would that be? Up, down. Up. Oh gosh. I fear we have a breach. Code 62B-slip drop. Grab hold and remain steadfast, ladies. Thin ice on large bodies of water is risky business with great results. Oh gosh. I mean, it's true, but I don't think they care. <laughs> All part of the Beach Creek Junior High Safety Club's daily diligence. May we suggest snowflake spotting as a safer and much more educational alternative? Only 25 cents! <laughs> he would say that. Never you mind, Eddie. The safety club is free of fee. Free? Yep. Wait, please come back. Oh, man. I told you I wouldn't make a good snowman. Oh my gosh, Johnny, why? Are you aware of hypothermia? It's a cat and mouse game when your body temperature's at risk. Yeah. Nope, he doesn't care because he's stupid. <laughs> and that should maintain a safe core temperature and a wedding. I have an implement too. So many stuffed teddy bears. Uh. Fetch my thermos of nice hot soup from the safety club chest. Thank you. <laughs> Very good, Ed. And good, Ed. Aw, oh, he's getting jealous. Oh. Well, they just ruined his fun. The safety club highly recommends you wear a helmet when exit such extreme activity. Foxhead don't need no helmet. He's already dead from the neck up. Oh, yeah? How about I box your head? Oh. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh, gosh. What? Yeah, they I'm are. Sure there's some way we can channel their heedless dispositions. You better not drop that. What is it? A poop deck? No. no. This is an official safety club deep ice machine. Using the salt off the discarded cafeteria pretzels, we can render treacherous icy footpaths safe. Oh. Right, because salt melts ice. Salt is like magic. Now, I'm sure I can trust you and Ed to only spread salt on the icy footpath. Jimmy's not being treated yeah, fairly. Yeah. No more fooling around, right, Ed? <laughs> Excellent technique, Jimmy. But the safety club guidebook specifies a counterclockwise to a uh. miscreant. As a clockwise turn, his body is superior. Uh. Oh, 
us up for a blast of Eddie Snowcone Cannon! <laughs> Shivers up your back! All for one measly quarter! Load her up, Eddie! You turn school sanctioned equipment into a flim flam? Apparently. Yeah, well, they're dumbasses, Double D. They could care less. That was clever. Oh, what's Jimmy gonna do, huh? I know what this school needs protecting from, and my club will succeed where this peanut gallery failed. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I gotta go to the bathroom. It's dorks on ice. We'll finally feel safe enough to appear in this episode. The Alidoka Pali Club's first task is a success. These complimentary helmets will keep your hair safe from the frizzy flying effects of the winter snow. <laughs> oh, poo. Come on, Jimmy. Let's go get some cocoa at my house. Ironic, isn't it? Us being singled out as a liability. Oh, Eddie. <laughs> my club's stuck in its head. gotta go to the bathroom. Well, you brought this on yourself, you Eddie. Sure, Eddie. Hey? Release this tongue troubled citizen with your blast furnace breath, Hibachi Man. I don't gotta go anymore. What? All right, guys. So that was the Lone Season Six episode of Ed and Nettie, and that was a good episode. Like I'm being, I'm as honest as I can be about it. And for best segment out of the two, this one definitely goes to May I Have This Ed, cause I just like the school dance concept of that of that segment. But I shouldn't be surprised at all of how Double D was so nervous about going and and how shy he is for, for some odd reason. But yeah, I really thought it was kind of funny, you know, seeing him get too nervous, especially when he was dancing with Naz. And it's also not very surprising at all that, you know, dumb Marie Kanker got jealous of it and that, that she decides to steal Eddie only for Lee to get jealous and take Ed and only for for May to get jealous and of course while still caught in Rolf's um sea cucumber a suit if you put it that way but the ending I was not expecting the school to get completely wrecked up from that I mean that that's definitely something you don't see every day but hey you know the Eds were able to get out of there and probably not get off of getting in trouble as well so but yeah like I said good episode overall and all we have left now are the special episodes and the movie. So, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. If you guys did enjoy this reaction and you want to see more Ed Ed Nettie on my YouTube channel, then please do show your support by hitting the like and subscribe buttons and commenting down below what you thought of this episode. And if you want to watch my full-length reaction series to Ed Ed Nettie on my Patreon page, like I said at the start of the video, then please do so by clicking the link down in the description below and become a member today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.